thank you for joining me again for another class. I want to take this time to do a really grounding, nurturing practice as we are in nature. Um, so we can just start at the top of the mat, just closing your eyes, really feeling the soles of your feet on the ground. noticing where you may be swaying to, maybe left, right, and as you're breathing here, connecting with the bottom of your feet, visualize roots similar to a tree growing from the bottom, pulling you down to the earth, keeping you grounded, supported, and balanced. really exploring the gravitational pull, really accepting the support that the ground beneath us offers. With each exhale being pulled deeper and deeper into the ground beneath you, you are rooted and you are grounded.
have a block here, you can always put the block underneath you. But really using your um, elbows to press into the insides of your thighs. And maybe rocking side to side if that feels best for you. And if we want to play around with some balance and some challenge today, you can go ahead and bring your hands onto the mat and lean yourself forward, lifting up one foot and then the next, coming into crow pose. So we're gonna shift our weight forward, just lift ourselves up, really pressing into each of the fingertips, not collapsing into the wrist. And just knowing that even when and if we fall, the ground is there to support us. And then from here, just sinking back into your yogi squat and using your hands Press your way back up. Just moving some of the dirt off my mat. And then gently rising up, mountain pose. <sighs> Connecting back to your cycle of breath. Anchoring back down into the soles of your feet. Clenching in your jaw. Keep letting it go. Down 
inhaling, sending your awareness, your breath and your attention into the palms of your hands. We're gonna inhale into the hands, lifting ourselves up, taking an exhale, we, um, make our way to a full tabletop pose with wrists under shoulders and your knees hip width apart. On your next inhale, drop your belly down, send your gaze up. And on your exhale, curving your back, sending your gaze down, creating your own flow and your own time and your own pace. Keep flowing with your breath. Feeling grounded as you breathe into the tops of your feet and the palms of your hands. And from here, we're gently going to send our right toes to the back of the mat, pressing into each of them, stretching through our toes, finding love for even the smallest pieces of our body, accepting that it's all connected, finding the support, the balance, and the stability that even the smallest things like our toes provide us with. On your next inhale, lifting your right leg off of the mat along with your left arm. And on your exhale, we're going to bring knee to elbow. So on your inhales, finding length. And on your exhales, finding connection. Just play around here, finding the freedom, the flow. Maybe romanticize the gestures of your left arm and your right leg. And then on your next inhale, holding your left arm and right leg out long. Breathing into your core, into your root. Really stretching out your body here. Finding the space that you're deserving to create. Inhale in. And on your exhale, releasing back to all fours. Taking a moment to rotate your right wrist, maybe shaking it out, and just recollecting as we're on all fours. Taking a moment to breathe into the knees, the tops of the feet, the palms of the hands. Bringing ourselves back down to earth. Gently sending your left toes to the back of the mat, pressing into each of them, finding your stretch. On your next inhale, lifting your left toes off of the mat, your left leg, along with your right arm, finding length. And on your exhale, bringing knee to elbow, squeezing into your core. In finding space, exhale, connect, sinking up your breath to each movement here, and on your next inhale, keeping it extended, keeping it out long, maybe pointing your toes, stretching through your fingertips, keep breathing into the space around you, into your core, you are strong, inhale in, hold it at the top, and on your exhale, let it go, just rotating through the left hand, the left wrist, shaking it out, From here, we're going to walk our hands to the top of the mat, dropping only our chest down, keeping the hips raised, coming in, dropping down onto the chin or the forehead. Breathing into your lower belly.
then in your own time, moving with your breath, pressing into the palms of your hands, lifting yourself back up and dragging your hands back underneath your shoulders. We're gonna inhale up for plank pose and on the exhale, downward dog. Stretching through our calves. Bending each of your knees one at a time. And then gently walking your feet up to the top of the mat. From here, bringing the palms of your hands to the soles of your feet with a generous bend of your knees. Releasing your head and neck, allowing them to be heavy. Finding your safety in this cocoon of your body, the shell, this bubble of safety. <sighs> Inhale in and on your exhale, releasing your hands and slowly rising up, allowing the crown of the head to be the last to rise. Taking a moment to stand in mountain pose. Maybe bringing one hand to your chest and the other to your belly, giving yourself a little break, a little reset, finding your breath. We often think that breaks are given after a productive day, after we've completed a certain amount of work use this time to give yourself a break in the middle in the moments of during we don't always have to have the mentality that we need to push through push harder and never stop sometimes we perform even better when we give ourselves that break that time of rest this moment feel rejuvenated feel revived feel the beat of your heart through the palm of your hand slowly deepening your breath take a big inhale in hold it at the top and on your exhale, releasing your arms out wide. Lifting our weight into our left butt. We're gonna inhale, lifting the right leg off of the mat. And on the exhale, making your way to tree pose. However that is for you. Maybe it's up here. Maybe it's at uh, your ankle, maybe your calf. Just making that decision with your breath and your body today. And playing around with your arms, deciding where they take you. Maybe sending them up to the sky. Maybe out wide, taking a mudra. Maybe bringing it in to prayer pose at your chest. Or maybe opening yourself up, ready to receive as you hold your hands wide. Really grounding down through your left foot even clenching through the toes, feeling the roots once again, growing from the bottoms of your feet. Inhale in, and on your exhale, gently releasing the right foot down, rotating the left ankle. Now shifting your awareness and breath to all four corners of the right foot. On your next inhale, lifting your left leg off of the mat. And on the exhale, coming into your version of tree pose. Knowing that there is no right or wrong. There is no yes or no. There aren't any labels. There's simply being. So what is your body or how is your body asking you to be in this moment?
grounding down through your right foot. Keep finding your breath. Usually we end off our practices by laying down, but today I figured that we should just remain standing up to be with our body, to be with our feet connected to the ground. Taking an active mountain pose here as we squeeze our core to improve our length of the spine having a slight bend in the knees. And allowing this practice to just be one that is full circle, starting with the roots at the bottom of our feet and ending with the roots at the bottom of our feet. Don't be afraid to tap into your creative side here really imagining, characterizing these roots growing from the soles of your feet, pulling you down. Feeling the support beneath you and the pull connecting you to the earth. As your roots are extending down, maybe bringing your mind, your visualization to the ground that it's growing into, into the soil, into the rocks of earth, into the grass. So you keep turning your attention inward, really travel with the roots as they flow. Allow them to take you wherever you're meant to go. releasing our roots <sighs> I want to say thank you for joining me for grounding practice for choosing yourself for being patient with yourself for visualizing your roots um, know that you always have the ground beneath you to come back to when you feel a loop and when you feel yourself trying to avoid that feeling of ground, the feeling of safety and protection, maybe ask yourself why that's happening and where that's coming from. What are you trying to avoid? What are you comfortable not knowing? 
I found in my practices that I'm most uh, <laughs> avoidant of grounding when I am happy living in ignorance and maybe ignorance is not what I'm meant to do during those times. I meant to look something in its face and it may be too painful or challenging but I invite us all to choose growth rather than avoidance. So thank you again for choosing yourself and choosing me. Namaste.